Turn this video into a drinking game every time MG says like, um, or book talk, take a shot. You will be wasted. Hi people I love, welcome back to MG's library. My name is Mary Grace and this is my library. I'm sure you can tell we are sitting in a new spot today. I got a new bookshelf, so it's thinking cute, and I moved all of my books from my windowsill into my new bookshelf, so we're sitting here now and the lighting's better and it just makes sense. Now I have a bunch of books to talk about that Book Talk has introduced me to, but I'm going to start off by talking about what Book Talk has taught me. One, YA is where it's at. Okay, listen, you know how much I love romance novels. I have never really read a lot of YA, but I've learned that YA is a gold mine. Book Talk showed me the freaking light. I think they're all YA. They're literally all YA. Two, Book Talk has taught me that money is only for spending on books <laughs> and coffee. Literally, if my parents knew, yes, TikTok will um, drain your bank account. Three, the third thing that I've noticed, it's not even necessarily something I've learned, but everyone's libraries on book talk are absolutely perfect color coded every book is the same height i never really got the whole like why does everyone want all their books to be like one height one you know what i mean they they all have to look the same and now i get it because everyone's freaking libraries are perfection they're all beautiful and they're rainbow and they're i just and i look at my shelves and i'm like organized <laughs> We have never heard of her. I have been wanting to to um, color code. <laughs> That's pretty much like the three things that I've picked up so far on Book Talk. Now let's talk about all the things that Book Talk will bully you into buying. The first thing I do not have in my hands right now, but once I have it, you best believe that TikTok will see it first. So follow me again. Shameless plug. It is a library stamp now hear me out i was like i don't need that it's if you if you don't know what a library stamp is it's a stamp and it says from the library of and then it'll say your name and it's beautiful okay but i was like well, i don't really need that and then i saw everyone had it and everyone stamped all their books with it and i was like I need that. Now let's get into the books that Book Talk will make you buy. So the first book series that you'll need to be like initiated into Book Talk is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Moss. They're the most beautiful books, book covers, everything. Here's the novella that goes along with it. Um, I am about 100 pages out from being finished with this and I get the hype, okay? This is my first fantasy book book YA fantasy book that I've ever read and it was like the perfect initiation into the world it's so good so beautifully written I all anybody talks about is Sarah J Moss and I get it she's incredible her her writing style her everything she's incredible these books are amazing you need to read them I just I get the hype all right the next series that everybody talks about and I personally did not really like but I get why people like it, is a selection series by Kira Cass. I had such high hopes for this book and I only read the first one. <laughs> so I probably can't completely speak on the series, but I, yeah, it just, I didn't get, the, it, it, it just was so Hunger Game-esque to me that I was like, Neh. but um, <laughs> not sure what that means, but this is a book that everybody talks about on Book Talk. The next, I think this is a trilogy, there could be more, I might be completely wrong, but it is, and I honestly don't know what the series is called, but it's Shiver and Linger by, and I'm gonna butcher her name, Maggie Stiefvater, Stiefvater, I'm so sorry Maggie, oh, oh my god, I just found something in this book, look at how cute, thanks, whoever owned this book for me, it's a pretty quick read, um, and the covers are absolutely stunning. So this is another uh, book series that everybody talks about. 
Now these next two books I actually found at a thrift store. I literally don't know how I got so lucky, but um, I'm gonna talk about her guys. I'm gonna talk about her, Cassandra Clare people. Any book by Cassandra Clare, Book Talk is just a big stan account, a big stan platform for Cassandra Clare. This is the Mortal Instruments series, City of Bones, book one. I am so excited to read this because this is like a huge fandom in the Book Talk world and everyone goes absolutely nuts over it. The other book that I found at the thrift store, which is so crazy, is Legend by Marie Lu. Is that your name? Marie Lu. Everyone talks about how this is super underrated. It has like, I don't even know, like six books or something like that. I, I can be completely wrong. I'm talking out of my butt here. This is a book that everybody raves about. Alrighty, the next book I have is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. First of all, this cover is unreal. So beautiful. And it has the, what's this, what, what is this called? A pull, a pull back? What is this called when it has the pull cover? So beautiful. This is a storybook retelling of Cinderella and she's a cyborg. It, yeah, people absolutely go crazy over this book. Um, and I've never seen this cover and I saw in Burns and Noble and I was like, uh, yes, please. Alrighty, the next book I have is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Everybody and their mother talks about this book in this series. Um, people absolutely love it. This is like everybody's five star read. Um, first of all, cover, absolutely stunning. Um, and it definitely seems like it's up my alley. Okay, my next book is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. Another one that nobody and their mother will shut up about on BookTok. Um, also have not read this one yet. Um, again, cover, just absolutely stunning. This is why, I, again, I believe, yeah, I'll read it. <laughs> Last two books that I have are TikTok's actual religion. If you have not read these books, you're probably living under a rock me. Um, but I'm so excited to start them. I cannot decide which one to start, so I literally haven't started either of them. But the first one I have is Six of Crows. Again, this book cover, just absolutely stunning. It's about these six people that go on a heist together. And all anybody talks about is how this is a five-star read, a six out of five-star read, if I do say so. I want to start this tonight. Somebody hold me to that, please. And the last one that I have is Carval by Stephanie Garber. Again, this freaking cover. I wish this is like that really nice, I don't know what material this is, like vinyl material. Um, it has like this step back. Is that what it's called? A step back? I don't know. Anyways, everybody and their mother talks about this book for good reason. It sounds like this book sounds absolutely incredible. Um, oh my god, look at that shimmer. Yeah, just another one that TikTok probably will not disappoint with. Now, those are all the books that I will allow myself to buy that TikTok has recommended, <laughs> but there are so many more. If you guys want to see, go get a go get a book talk. TikTok is my greatest teacher, my sensei, if you will, my book, my, my book say, no, but I absolutely love it over there. Again, go follow me. Give me some love. I have a TBR the size of the Great Wall of China and I don't know if I'll ever stop adding to it. That is neither here nor there. Also, unrelated to everything that I've been talking about, I actually started reading Twilight. I have never read Twilight. I know, I know. Never watched the movies, none of it. I am absolutely in love with it, y'all. Like, I get the hype. Especially if I was in high school, I keep telling everybody this, if I was in high school reading Twilight, I would be a Twihard. Is that what they call them? Twihards? I want to I wanna be a part of the Twihards. So that's unrelated to all of this. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I see you over on Book Talk. And we will talk very soon. I love y'all and I hope you have a good week.